So one of my main motivations was really to write a book that takes Bernard Mandeville seriously as a philosopher. So Mandeville was really interested in human nature and the nature of society, above all else, that's what I argue. And in the book, I try to show he has a very distinctive and sometimes a quite unsettling take on what humans are really like and how we manage to live peacefully together in society. Now, taking Mandeville seriously as a philosopher involves focusing on his arguments first and foremost. So I seek to reconstruct, to some extent, defend his moral, social and political ideas. And scholars do this all the time uh, when it comes to canonical works in the history of moral and political philosophy. If you think of texts like Thomas Hobbes' Leviathan or John Locke's Two Treatises of Government. But it's something which, to my mind, no one has really done in any depth, at least when it comes to Mandeville's most famous work, The Fable of the Beast.